<clears throat> my name is Linda Noe, 2343 Joe Stevens Road. My comments today concern four members of this council. Just over a year ago, council members Bell, Garrett, Center, and Bivens, joined by Councilman Jinks, opened the agenda for Mr. LaBelle. Mr. LaBelle then made a motion that the city request and join with Morristown Utilities Commission in filing a complaint against me with the Board of Professional Responsibility. Of course, at the same time, I was opposing the new MacGuffin law that was going to overturn and did overturn a part of the 2001 MUC referendum. Mr. LaBelle said the basis for the complaint was an affidavit by Christy Batts of the Clarksville Department of Electricity. In her affidavit, Ms. Batts referred to a call that I made to her on December 7, 2011, where I identified myself by name, and she assumed, because I mentioned that I was from Morristown, that I must be employed by MUC. As is often the case when one assumes something, Ms. Batts' assumption was wrong. What you four did in pushing a Board of Professional Responsibilities complaint was vicious and nothing more than a political and personal vendetta. You have no sense of decency. You can't deal with facts or opinions different from your own, so you attack the messenger. When, when Mr. LaBelle made this motion, he also said of me, she talks about accountability. Well, she can be accountable now. If there's no basis for the accusation, I'm sure the Board of Professional Responsibility will clear her. Mr. LaBelle, Ms. Sinner, Mr. Bivens, Mr. Garrett, there was in fact no basis for that accusation and the Board of Responsibility did clear me with a full dismissal of the complaint in September 2012. Since neither you nor MUC nor the press has reported on this, I have a copy of the dismissal for each of you. But far more than what you attempted to do to me, I'm concerned about what you do to other people. At the same time that all this was going on in February 2012, you were also voting, you four, for an ordinance to reduce the speaking time for citizens at council meetings from three minutes to two minutes and to make all the public comments other than public hearings at, at the end of the meeting after all votes had been taken. Thankfully, the mayor sent out a letter alerting the citizens and when you saw the people here and you heard their voices in opposition to your proposal, you changed it and rightly so. And of course, this is the same group that voted for the MacGuffin Law to change what the part of the referendum you didn't like that was passed in 2001 by 72% of the people and ended up with an incumbent state representative losing his job. Contempt for the voice of the people, overturning the vote of the people, and attacking the messenger are the hallmarks of LaBelle, Center, Bivens, and Garrett. Appreciate you passing this out. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Are there any other comments?